Hello. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Port Townsend High School Spring Senior Concert 2020. Um, it's a little bit different than we had envisioned, but we're still doing it. Um, we continue on and, and we do what we do. And we have a concert. We have a concert right now and the concert's going to go on. So let me explain what the concert's going to be. Uh, this is uh, musical selections from the students. Um, they've sent in a lot of information from home where they've recorded their parts. Um, it's a combination of some video clips I have from earlier in the school year and we might even go live and maybe see if we can get a performance out there in the community. So uh, we're going to move on in just a second. I do want to let you know that on the sides there's so many people that make this program successful, that we're gonna take advantage of these areas to the side when I'm speaking, where we really need to thank all of the people that are instrumental, pun intended, into making our program what it is. Uh, we're very proud of our music program here in Port Townsend, and uh, it can't be done without these people that you'll see throughout the video. And there's probably a ton of people that I'm gonna miss. Um, but if you're one of those people and you helped us out, please, 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 we want to let you know how appreciative we are. Uh, our program is successful because of you. So thank you for tuning in tonight and thank you for being here. And uh, we're going to move on. So this first piece of music, the students recorded this from home. They recorded their own individual parts. They sent it in and we reassembled it. We put some fancy little video to it for fun. And uh, let's start the show nice and strong. So enjoy.
it's just kind of funny because I remember walking in my freshman year in the orchestra and I was so afraid to play because I was just so intimidated by the, all all the other older members of orchestra and and I was just, I was I was so scared and I, I was like I'm never gonna be as good as as everybody else is and me being a scared little freshman wasn't sure if I'd ever live up to anybody else in the orchestra um but I'm here now and I'm just like wow i I've grown, I realize that I've grown so much and I've developed as a person. And it's not just like an orchestra thing. It's just like in general, I've, I've, you know, orchestra has brought me my confidence and, you know, I've, I've learned to be more open and come out of my shell a little bit more. And it's, it really has been a great experience. Um, I've loved going on the trips. I loved going to California and to Vancouver and seeing the different um, symphonies play. And I, I, I just, I really owe it all to Mr. Furland and to orchestra because I love playing viola and I love listening to classical music and I love learning about the different periods of um, the music world. And I've just, I've made so many new friends. I've, you know, I've gone through some rough patches and there's been, have, there have been so many times that I've just been like, I can't do this. I, I want to quit. But then I'm just like, no, that, that's not an option because I have to keep going and I have to, I have to learn from my mistakes. And that's exactly what orchestra has, has brought me. And that's what it means to me. And I, I just, I've been so grateful for everything. It's, it's, gave it given to me and um yeah so we have a long tradition of excellence here at the uh, music programs at port townsend high school um, there's about 365 students at port townsend high school and we have um, about 90 students 90 of them are enrolled in our band and orchestra program. Uh, the kids work extremely hard. Um, they, they just push themselves. They push me to try to be a better director, and um, I appreciate that. This has been a very chaotic time of the year. It's, it's been a little crazy, not just uh, not being at school, but I, I believe in all of our communities. And, uh, you know, music has always served as a way, in some small part, I hope, uh, to kind of bring people together and keep that commonality among people and uh, allow them to be able to express themselves in many particular ways. Um, so, you know, if, if we can, you know, bring you in and entertain you and show you um, some of the very positive things that we have to offer, which are our young people here in Port Towns, and then, then I'm very happy with that. And I, I hope that comes across, that this is a celebration of the students and this is a celebration of our community um, and how proud we are of them. So thank you, thank you for being here. Oh, and live type down below, wherever it is make sure and uh, send them some hearts on insta face and uh gramophone and um insta chat and um you know w however you're watching it well that was interesting to say the least uh yeah and if you're wondering what that was, my younger students are watching throughout the video and they're looking for three keywords and if they send them to me, they're gonna get a prize. Kind of my way of uh, getting them to tune in and watch a concert video. Um, we're gonna move on now with the concert and I do wanna let you know, during the course of this concert, we're gonna hear some ensembles and it, we're gonna feature as many students as we can. I mean, we've got a lot of kids in our program and a lot of different groups, so we'll intersperse as much as we can. But this is really about the seniors tonight. And so you're gonna hear some senior solos which they deserve, which they um, look forward to for their senior year. And this is the best opportunity we can give them to kind of put their voice out there and show off what they've learned and really impress us with how wonderful they are. And we also included in uh, the video a chance for you to hear from their voices. So they're actually going to do a little bit of senior reflection as well. And uh, that'll be interspersed throughout the video. So we really hope you enjoy that. It's uh, this group of seniors um, is unbelievable. They the fact that they are able to balance unbelievably hard coursework um, 
take college level coursework and still stay in our music program and teach our younger students and make us strong is a testament to how wonderful these kids are. Um, you know, it's not uncommon for us to have the top kids at Port Townsend High School. This year we have the valedictorian and salutatorian just like we do in a lot of years and there's representation in all of our sports there's representation in tons of clubs knowledge bowl mock trial um, you know anything and everything at port townsend you've got music students in who are just the strongest kids that we have to offer and uh, i'm super proud of them so um, yeah we look forward to seeing that a little bit later on let's go ahead and move to our next ensemble this is our chamber ensemble and what we did was we had some parents with some iphones that recorded them um, at a previous performance over in Port Angeles. Uh, they sent in the video, I spliced it together, gave you some different camera angles, but this is from a live performance, a competition solo ensemble of our chamber ensemble, our auditioned uh, strings group. Um, I did a little bit of tweaking to make the sound uh, reverb so it sounds like it's on a concert hall, but don't be fooled because when you hear this you're going to say, oh Mr. Furlan went and got a professional group and slapped in some audio. No, they're just that good. So this is our chamber ensemble. I started playing the cello because my sister was playing it and it seemed like the thing to play when I was little. And my favorite part of being in the orchestra were the end results and hearing how good we sounded at the end of the year at our spring concert. One of my things that I will miss the most about uh, being in orchestra are the long grindy sessions where we would play nonstop for an hour and a half or so. One thing that I will also miss is giving Trillium a cliff bar every single day in orchestra for four years straight. What I like the most about orchestra is how close we all are and how every year we become more and more cohesive. At the beginning of my freshman year, I was definitely intimidated by all the big scary seniors who could play like they had already joined the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Eventually though, I realized that those seniors were just like all of us. And over the years, as I've 
become one of those seniors. I've watched this program grow into what we are today and I've been so proud of everything that we've done and everybody involved. In orchestra, I've learned how to work as a team and how to listen to others and adjust my plan according to their feedback and most importantly, how to look exactly like I know what I'm doing all the time. <laughs> I hope that this project helped all of you see that even with everything going on in the world right now, there are still good things. There's still love and dedication, and we are still capable of making something beautiful. Thank you all for an amazing four years. Now we're gonna check out another ensemble. So these are members of our jazz band, and Clark. <sighs> That's gonna get old, but okay. Let's try this again. Take two. All right, now we're gonna listen to some members of our uh, jazz band. They got together and they recorded this from home and sent it back in and we put it back together. So this is their rendition of a piece called Coco. We hope you enjoy. Townsend High School band program. For my senior solo, I'm going to be playing Embraceable You by George and Ira Gershwin. <laughs> and I've been playing the cello for four years now. I started playing freshman year and I made the switch from clarinet that year because I just, I guess I thought that I needed another challenge in my life and I had to undergo a lot of learning and I learned a lot about myself as well as learning to play this new instrument. I learned that I can really accomplish things if I put my mind to it. I integrated myself into the orchestra and over the years I really pushed myself to make sure that I was getting the most out of the time that I was putting into trying to learn this new instrument. 
Um, and one of the main things that I love about playing the cello is just the beautiful sound that it makes and the fact that I can make that sound. I listen to a lot of cello music and it really inspires me. It's always inspired me. It's one of the things that made me decide that, you know, I could do that too. Awesome job. I hope you're enjoying everything. We're going to move on a little different now. This is not an enrolled class, but many of my students are in this group and they were begging to be on the video. So I thought we would put them on there because it has a lot of uh, our musicians. This is, uh, this is a student led group. Um, they practice in a garage, so I guess we'll call them a garage band. This is Iron Weasel featuring many of our players and uh, they want to play a selection for you. So let's enjoy. This is a pre-recorded uh, performance coming from someone's garage. I started in fifth grade because it was a required class back then, and uh, I guess I sort of stuck with it because I love music. Um, I chose percussion because it's the best section, <laughs> and it's the foundation for almost all music. Uh, I like percussion because uh, there are a wide variety of instruments to choose from and play, and or whether it be during um, concert season or marching season. I moved to Port Townsend, ended up going to Blue Heron Middle School, stayed on the fl well, initially started on trumpet, then switched to flute, um, and then 
up until sophomore year of high school, I was still on flute and I had problems with my mouth, so I had to change to clarinet. And then it was suggested to try bass clarinet as well as saxophone, uh, trombone, tuba, and a few other wind instruments. Um, and then senior year of high school, I decided to join the orchestra program as well as a zero period jazz band. Okay, um, I'd have to say my favorite trip would be our trip to Pasco, which I believe was my junior year. Um, we had a jazz performance with a few pieces and then uh, I think it was that night in the hotel uh, we hadn't learned until the next morning, but she had jumped out of the hotel room balcony and went for a run and did a workout and then came back the same way through the balcony. I think that was highlight of that trip. Worst part was the bus ride there and back. <laughs> Now we're going to go to one more of our ensembles, and this is actually a club. This is our fiddle club, and uh, this is led by Peter McCracken, a local Peter McCracken who works out at Centrum and uh, leads our summer fiddle tunes each year. And we weren't able to get any audio this year or any good video, so we said, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, let's just go out into the field and let's do a live performance. So this is actually a live performance. I told Peter, make sure the kids are spread apart, make sure they have face masks, make sure everything's safe, and go to a secret location. Peter knows all all the nooks and crannies, uh, the bunkers down at Port Hadlock. So I don't even know where he is. I said, Peter, go to somewhere secret so you don't uh, attract a crowd and and play one tune with the fiddle kids real quick. And he said he was on it. So I'm going to use Zoom right here. I'm typing in and the screen should go. Now this is undisclosed secret location somewhere off the beaten path. And let's check in with Peter McCracken. Peter, are you there? Peter. We're down here, we're gonna have a tune with the fiddle club. Peter, I can tell you're at the Marine uh, Park Community shh, Center. Shh, shh, shh. Don't tell anyone. It's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> All right, Peter. Hey, okay, so you guys can go in and hit it. All right, I, just, I, want, I want, definitely want to thank the uh, graduating 2020 seniors from Port Townsend High School. Here we go, let's have a little piece. orchestra is really unique just in the amount of people that participate. There's always overlap in anything else you do, mock trial, knowledge bowl, and you've already worked with those students creating something and that's a really special thing. Our community is really welcoming to young musicians. I've had the opportunity to play with really excellent groups like the Symphony Orchestra or Wild Rose Chorale, Rain Shadow, the PT Summer Band, 
And I've had the opportunity to work with professional and semi-professional musicians just here in town. And that has helped me grow as a performer, as a student, and as a person. I feel really lucky to have had as many good mentors, teachers, just people that I've played with, or even just students. Um, our town is really special in that fact, and our orchestra is really special. Even though things are hard right now, it's sad that we won't be able to play together again. We've made a lot of good music, you know. I've learned as a performer and as a musician, and I know all of my other peers have as well, and that's all that matters. I'm going to keep playing music, and I hope everybody else does too, because that's all that really matters. I started playing the violin this summer before seventh grade. Seventh grade was when I officially started. I remember the first day a group of girls in my section had to help me find the right way to put on my shoulder rest and the help me tighten my bow to the correct tension. Being an orchestra has taught me about the importance of creating a safe, inclusive community where it's okay to learn from your mistakes and to grow together as a group. And it's important, so. Our community has and is super supportive of the orchestra and band. And without them, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things that we've done. So thank you to the community for all of your support. Awesome job. We're coming into the home stretch. So we wanted to spend just a moment and we want to spend it with our seniors. I asked the seniors to record from home something that they would enjoy and um, they, they sent this in, we put it together, and then I uh, secretly reached out to the parents and said, hey, can you send me some pictures of our seniors so we can really kind of show them off. Um, so this is a uh, slideshow tribute video to many of our seniors uh, with many of our seniors getting together and providing this soundtrack. So um, we hope you enjoy. Thank you so much.
I hope you enjoyed that. And maybe that did pull at your heartstrings just a little bit. Um, our seniors are just unbelievable this year. I know I sound like a broken record, but I, I'm, I'm just being completely honest. Every single one of them is just a good person, a good young adult. And the impact that they're going to have on this world, I can't express to you um, so that you understand how special they are. The fact that many of them I've got to teach about half of their school career and see them develop into the person they are is just unbelievable. So t thank you to their parents that they allow me to teach their students. Um, um, thank you to everybody. If we've missed anybody throughout this video, please, 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 thank you so much for your support. Um, I can't tell you enough um, what an honor it's been for me to spend this part of my career teaching here in Port Townsend Schools. Um, uh, completely blown away by the talent level we have in this community and the support that we receive. We will be back in the fall. We will be back, we'll be as strong as ever, and we will continue on because that's what we do here in Port Townsend. Thank you so much for everything. We're going to leave you now with a little bit of audio from a selection called Here Be Dragons that we recorded earlier in the year. And we're going to put some pictures up just throughout the year as a little slideshow. Um, this video is archived, so you can always go back, share the link with people that weren't able to tune in live to see the video. And thank you for everything. Take care and have a great evening.